Newton Crouch Incorporated presents technical tips. Benefits of a hydraulic hose fitting from John Deere on hoses from your flow control valve or four line manifold valve back to your tractor. On your spreader buggy, the return line from your four line manifold or brand flow control, whichever may be your application. This is the old hose is half inch MPT. This is the MPT quick disconnect fitting that goes on. On the old hose kit, the quick disconnect does not have a check valve in it. And it is easy to plug your return line into your supply pressure. And it is possible that you could damage a valve or motor. You can buy an adapter to an O-ring, the John Deere quick disconnect which has a check in it that will prevent flow through the return side and prevent damage to your motor. On the new style hose return line, you have an O-ring, you have a John Deere quick disconnect that has a check in it, unrestricted return back to the tractor. It is O-ring. If you hook your John Deere quick connect return line up to your pressure, you will immediately see a spike in your pressure, your flow pressure, and that prevents you from damaging your motor. If you have the old style hydraulic ends on your spreader, NCI recommends that you purchase the adapter to O-ring and the John Deere universal check fitting. It is much cheaper to add these two fittings than to replace a valve or motor. This check valve must be used in conjunction with proper technique for closing the hydraulic system on your tractor. On a closed center system, always push control forward to turn off the hydraulic flow, never to neutral. This valve will not save your hydraulic motor if you drop the tractor remote control into neutral. We hope this video has answered your questions. Technical assistance is available 24-7 on our YouTube channel or our website www.newtoncrouch.com. Call us at 800-241-1350. A real person will answer the phone. No recorded menus. Our knowledgeable staff will be glad to help you. Proudly Made in America, a family-owned business since 1940, Newton Crouch.